Options traders are setting up positions in September. I'm Angela Miles with the Russell Report. One of the reasons why I enjoy covering the options market is because the options market can be a great predictor of what's to come and some trades in the Russell are really catching my eye this week. Someone came into the options market and it looks like the trader purchased calls at the 1600 strike in the Russell 2000. Now it's possible this was part of a spread and the trader may have been selling those calls but based on the bid ask spread it's likely those calls may have been purchased what does that tell us well it's possible someone wants long-term exposure to the Russell the trader could potentially profit through premium if volatility moves higher between now and September in the Russell also the index was at 1600 around Halloween of 2018 so it's possible that trade could become profitable if the index gets back to 1600 or above 1600 by September options expiration. In the near term, the Russell hit a high this week of 1486 on Monday when the stock market was exploding higher on hopes of a China trade deal. The low of the week, 1446. Options traders have been able to take advantage of all the headline news that's really driving this market. For the week, the Russell is down 1.2%, but for the year, the Russell 2000 is up 8.6%, beating the broader market. A lot of people are watching that. Taking a look at options trading today, the Russell is right around 1478. The ratio 1.2.8 puts. That's almost one call trading for every three puts. So some hedgers are really moving into the options market for September. We're still seeing some options trades in play. The September puts are active at 1300. Those are way out of the money. The April 1350 puts getting some action today and the weeklies expiring next week active at 1330 on the put side. The calls are active for the weeklies next week at 1475. The straddle for next week is indicating about a two point 1% move is possible. And the RVX, as we're going to tape, is sitting at the low of the week at 21. The VIX happens to be down as well. It's right around 17. Up next, we'll do some trader talk. I'm bringing in trader Mike Shore, Prosper Trading Academy. And, you know, based on some of the put activity that I'm seeing in this market, I'm feeling as though traders are bracing for something that might be in the works that could really move the market next week. Maybe it's just me. What do you think? Yeah, well, uh, as of this morning, we had puts outpacing calls about 2.6 to 1. Normally, it's only 1.8 to 1. So there's heavy buying in puts. That's because I, I think it's because we're just coming up on this resistance point. When I left the desk, we were trading 1479 and we have the resistance up at 1489. So that's only 10 handles higher than here. So I think that they think that there's going to be at least a resting point that we could p perhaps bounce off of and retrace. If we get through there, well, then, you know, it's off to the races again. A lot of traders are talking about those technical levels. When you when you start to see moves like this, how would you position yourself? Uh, I would wait to see where we get if, if when we get to that resistance point, see what, what happens with the fight that's going to happen there and then don't fight it. If it fade it, go with it and if it breaks through, you got room to the upside. So what about if we do move past that resistance level? How much of a move could we get there, do you think? I'd have to check the exact thing, but I, I would imagine over the next, uh, we'd be looking at about a 4% move over the next month. Could get interesting. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks to you for watching. Stay warm, everybody. It's so cold here in Chicago, but we're having a good time. Yep. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thank you.